Hello everyone, sometimes I like to create a, a quick answer video based on a question and because the question is extremely important for, to me personally, I like to help people who want to transition to IT career and specifically people that are that they're thinking that they are above a certain age that the question is, is it worth it or not kind of thing, you know. So it is my personal as a human duty to kind of help these people out uh, even though it may not be a perfect you know answer but I hope I'm gonna pronounce your name Pana and I hope this is going to be uh, informational video for you and you will make your decision based on this first of all in this platform jobscoshare.org you will not be the first person to be above uh, 40 so I, I want to start with few good examples so then your confidence level will be um, really high after looking at this um, uh, blogs these are the blogs that these members this is the member this is another member just like you uh, he came to this platform finished the courses and this site has helped me get the job in a new career area and I'm 51 years old so here here's your perfect example that you know this was done in on February 23rd 2018 so this is even before your comment just to kind of give you more confidence this is a testimonial by a member who came in and shared the experience so I really want to give you this that you're 45 this person is 51 still landed a job in IT here's another example of uh, another member Paul he just wrote this blog for us and you can read these blogs I will show you in a second but he's 46 years old had a baby and he's uh, you know um, also in your position right now and basically he has started um, this uh, uh, these courses and it is helping him a lot here's another example of uh, another one I moved here uh, to closer and uh, basically this person have six children and I'm sure he's um, you know his age is also in that a range right now and you can see this person is going for it he's going uh, for these courses and there are many 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 examples in this platform that yes it doesn't matter at 46 or 45 you can get into IT career but now let's let's get to your question specifically now if you just watch this video and if you had a uh, some other IT uh, you know titles or have you worked in IT environment I feel like you are not going to be asking this question because I feel like you're um, you're asking this question that can you become a network engineer be uh, you want to change your career to it so I feel like if you were in IT because I didn't ask you too many questions in there and I'm making this video and I'm assuming that you don't have any IT background and you want to become a network engineer then my answer is going to be no in the beginning because network engineer and I'm specifically talking about Maryland, DC, Virginia, DMV, United States, overall United States. A network engineer job is going to be an advanced job, like I explained this in this video. That yes, it's going to take you time to become a network engineer, but it's it's not like it's it's not that it's impossible. You just need to get into IT somehow with the entry level positions, then you can go for the network engineering job and that is going to take you a few years and I would say if you're uh, on the target then yes you can get land an IT job six months in, in, a, in, in the entry level six months in a knock which is kind of like a networking area like help us for networking basically and then you can go into these networking jobs pretty easily in two or three years that would be a really good scenario that's what like this is like you're actually doing a lot of targeted studying targeted applying to jobs where you are getting into the networking side now that if that was your question to really become a specifically network engineer then yes you can do that but this is not going to be an easy title for you to get right away now which one is the easiest one this is going to be the help desk one the help desk one a lot of people think of a help desk some kind of like you know I am just gonna sit there and just play around with the you know some computers and things like that no I mean if you have to if you apply for a real good environments good organizations help this is just the name it's just a title but it's an entry-level IT position it could be anyone a lot of people from help this they become a systems administrator so if you have a chance make sure you watch this video can I become a system administrator so you can actually start with the help this 
uh, education in our system where it's jobscleshare.org. These are the people that come to this platform and then they will take this course, which is help us entry level to specialist. This is the course where we basically teach you everything that skills and everything like that. But if you're brand new to IT, then I recommend you go for our membership, which is premium, and then get the IT Fundamental V1.0 course. And it's also recommended in this course. And if you think this is also not going to help you, you are not a self-paced person, then we offer live training. So you have a lot of options to get into IT, but it's really up to you now. How do you want to get in? I mean, you can go to some college. You can actually take some boot camps. You can go to some, uh, you know, maybe if you know your friends and things like that, if they are able to teach you things, yes, that can happen. Um, uh, like I said in many of my videos where I would recommend you to watch one of the videos, which is if you go to YouTube, type job skills, share, no experience, even though I put experience wrong here, you'll see how to start IT career with no experience you will watch this video this video is extremely detailed why I explain you should start with a help desk and there's no uh, you know degree requirement or anything like that you just need to make sure your resume looks good you need to take our courses to make sure you get the skills right you know you, you need to learn all these skills even after landing job this is where you're going to uh, you know make your transition to a network engineering job or a system administration job very easy one like you know it's going to be very quickly uh, for you to, to transition a lot of people get into help desk and then they stay in help desk for many many years the reason is that they don't want to move away from it they are either they either they want to move away from it but they're they ha they're very uh, their confidence level with working on systems is pretty low you know so the way we teach you over here is that you are in the help desk studying and doing things but you're actually preparing yourself for a system admin job and after that system admin you jump into a network engineering job if you want to and we're actually creating more more um, more like this also like you know getting into security stuff like that now um, again if you want to know more about this you can go to YouTube type jobs to share click on playlist and in the playlist this is the IT fundamental v1.0 course that I was talking about if you really want to start from scratch but of course there's going to be a little investment from your end and the investment is that you need to click on the membership levels and we do provide a lot for free but if you want to do hands-on practice on our servers and things like that you know or may maybe getting um, uh, access to our partners courses to you know learn this stuff then you need to invest a little bit of money in here so this is where my recommendation is to you that yes it's possible but network engineer specifically is not gonna be um, a realistic approach you need to start with the entry-level positions like help desk and then move on to system admin or even a network networking entry-level jobs it depends where you apply again uh, so hopefully this is a good answer for you and um, watch these blogs oh I forgot you should go to jobs go share all the way scroll down on the home page and these are the blogs that I just shared with you and they are over 50 plus blogs and these are just the one that we have featured I mean it's way more than this so you can click on this watch all of these blogs get some conference from these people they have already landed a job this is not something you know this is new this is new to IT right now we have not we didn't have this before so this is why when someone comes to the 40 plus 50 plus it doesn't matter as long as you have a desire to learn you can really really quickly get into IT uh, and that the whole concept of uh, you know um, uh, you have to really learn this stuff and it will take you years that that's gone now because we give you everything we have combined these skills in a way that you don't need to wait anymore a lot of people say no you gotta practice it hands-on to learn this stuff that's true but it's not true when it comes to positions like help desk and stuff like that you just need to learn these skills once you learn it this is it this is your property now you need after that you you learn your own things and then you add it to your uh, uh, the, the the learning that you have done from us I mean this is something like it's a combination so uh, definitely go for it don't stop if you like it if you want to go for IT don't stop. This is your chance. We have already provided you the platform. Go for it.